But the, the problem then is that it's these, the, the dominant political parties that put forward these councillors who don't have the qualifications and these members of parliament who don't have the qualifications and the electorate then votes for these people who end up in parliament and are not good quality uh, members of parliament to be appointed as cabinet ministers. Hence, the need for the president to say, I'm going to have uh, seven instead of five. But you're saying, no, let's go back to vetting the people that raise their hands and say they want to be members of parliament both, uh, in both uh, uh, the two main political parties. Is that what you're saying? True, true, Mr. Nguye, true, Mr. Nguye. Um... Unfortunately, um, also one thing that I realized when I was running for office is the way that people vote, the voting mm -hmm. patterns of people. Um, at times, people vote for, for a party without really voting for, for an individual, mm -hmm. without questioning much on the type of person that they are selecting to be their member of parliament or, or even to be their councillor. They're just voting for a political party. But then, uh, little do they know that if you vote for, for a good candidate, let's say in local government, that person is now going to be responsible for your day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. Things like water coming out of our tapes, things like um, upgrading Harare, or if in this case it's Harare that we, we find ourselves in, things like upgrading Harare to be a world-class um, city, um, I remember when I was still uh, in school, I, you, there was this saying of um, making Harare a world-class city by, was it by 20, 2020 or 2018? I think 2020, yeah, yeah. But now, 2020. But now, when I'm now looking back, I'm thinking, okay, so what happened now? Mm. Are we the world-class city? But then, we are, but then there are headlines of councillors who are engaging in corrupt activities. There are headlines of councillors who are forging uh, transcripts. There are headlines of councillors who are engaging in illegal activities. And then what exactly are we expecting? In as much as we might have voted for, for, for our favorite political party, but is it really, trans, is it really transaction, uh, transacting to the lives that we're living? Mm. And I think that it is high time that, you know, as Zimbabweans, we now then start interrogating some of these things. And part of which, you know, part of the reasons why I say that there should be an entire withdrawal of the amendment bill is that we now need to have conversations um, around the Electoral Act. Mm -hmm. If it means that we need to whip politicians or political parties in line for them to give us uh, proper candidates, then let it be so. If it means that we're now putting in place uh, policies that protect us as citizens from politicians. Because you know, Mr. Nguye, um, mm. 2018, everyone, literally everyone, was selling a very good manifesto. But now looking at that manifesto, and people would vote, some people voted based, uh, voted based on, on manifestos. But now when they are looking back at what the manifesto was saying and what is actually happening right now, there's a total difference there's some sort of fraud which happened mm. so i think since 1980 we've been having politicians coming to us and lying uh promising us you know heaven on earth but when they actually now get in office it's a totally different case so maybe we can now start um having conversations as citizens on, on saying okay so how best are we now going to protect ourselves from politicians mm. um and how best are we going to protect ourselves from because i feel that elections in zimbabwe they've been just reduced to to a simple child's play because what people are saying it's not it's not what then is it's not what then happens once mm. they get in office mm. so we need to create we need to start having a culture of having truthful um of having truthful uh, politicians if you say that you're going to be uh, if, you, if you say that you're going to to be providing water if you're going to facilitate that water is going to be coming out of our tips 24 7 then we need to see it because mm. we are voting for you on the belief that you are going to be providing for mm. us mm. but now when you start slaking and now when we start hearing of 
like all of these shenanigans and all of these blame games, you know, it's it's central government. But when we voted for Ismail Tapin, we voted for you to deliver, not mm-hmm. for you to give us stories, not for you to start telling us about sanctions, about all of that. Because when you're crafting your poll, because when you're crafting your manifesto, you knew exactly what you're writing about. Mm-hmm. So it's now also a high time that we start making elections make sense in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm.